Hi, this is Tanner Sullivan again, and today we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to jailbreak iPod Touch 1.1.4. Just to prove that it's 1.1.4, I'm gonna show you right up there. 1.1.4. Okay. First of all, go to your desktop and create a folder called Z iPhone. Just make it a new folder, open it up, just make sure it's empty. Then you're going to want to go, I'll put this in my description, you're going to want to go to theiphone.org. It's going to look like this. Exactly like this. It's going to come up like this. And you're going to want to click download the iPhone. And if you're Windows, you're going to click right here, which I am. And then right here is Macintosh. I'm going to click right here for Windows takes like 10 six, uh, seconds and this needs to download. I'm going to turn my camera back on when it's done downloading. Okay, it's done loading and it comes with a, up with a little warning sign that says if it does not install or it sends an immediate error warning, just turn off. Um, after you click that, it's going to come up with like this where it says program files. You're going to want to click right here on this three dots corner and then you're gonna want to go to my desktop and then you're gonna want to look for a little folder called the iPhone that you made and you're gonna want to click OK and then unzip it takes approximately like 10 seconds to unzip here you're gonna want to double click And it should pop up just like this. Okay. If you have uh, an iPhone, right now you're going to want to go over here and click Do It All. Only if you have an iPhone. Now this is going to unlock it, jailbreak it, and activate it in one click. This one will activate, will jailbreak and activate it only, will not unlock it. This one will jailbreak for iPod Touches. So if you have an iPod Touch, this is the one you're going to want to do. And if you, and if for some weird reason you want to relock up your iPod, just click this button to refurbish. Now you're going to want to click this one. I already have my iPod Touch jailbroken. You're going to want to click right there on jailbreak. And down here it should load for about, I say, two to, uh, mine took about a minute. Maybe one to five minutes at max. After that, um, your iPhone or iPod Touch is going to come up as jailbroken. And it, um, I'm also going to show you a few cool apps that I found. Um, the first one is called Touchpad. If you want to look, it's right there. It's called Touchpad Pro. I'm going to show you what it does really quick. Now, if you look under here, I'm not even. If you see the little thing, I'm using my iPod Touch to control my mouse. See that? Up, down. See? Pretty sweet. Also, I wanted to show you how to get customize on here, and I also wanted to show you how to get Summerboard to work. First of all, you're going to want to download these two um, sources. One, they're the two sources that you're going to want to download are, I'll put them in my description too, but they're called all, iSpazio. One of them is right there, they're iSpazio Laboratory and iSpazio Official. Once you get those onto your iPod, you're going to want to go turn it off and go to Installer. Once again, you're gonna go to install, and you're gonna. This is for customize. You're gonna want to go down to iSpazio apps. I'm sorry. You're gonna want to go. Uh, just click on all packages, and you're gonna want to go scroll down until you find a program called 1.1.4 compatibility patch, and you're gonna want to install that. 
and when it installs it's going to tell you that um, that once you're done downloading make sure after you're done downloading you're going to want to turn your iPod you're going to want to turn your iPod off so it, um, and you're going to want to uninstall iSpazio um, now you're going to want to go to uh, utilities at the very bottom you're going to go down to C's you're going to want the customize I already have it but it's going to be right there above customize old and you're going to want to download that then you're going to turn off your iPod and it'll load and turn off then you're going to want to turn it back on now it took me uh... it kind of bugged me uh... customize wasn't working at first so you're going to want to go to installer uninstall and then scroll down until you find 1.1.4 compatibility test after that find installer on your ipod click it and if i if this thing doesn't work Mine's already done because I've opened it many times. But if it doesn't work, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it down, click it, and then you're going to want to repulsively tap it really, really fast. And this takes a few times if it doesn't work the first time or the second time. It, takes about, it took me three times. All you're going to want to do is keep tapping it. And after a while, don't don't worry. It's, it's fine. It's going to work perfect. Um, mine works perfect as you can see. I don't have to tap it, but see it works perfect customizer. And then for summer board, you're gonna wanna go to installer. After you go to installer, go to install. Make sure before you download anything, I didn't. I download BSD subsystem, and then you're gonna wanna download Summerboard extends. You're gonna want um. And what else you're gonna want is BSD subsystem 2.0 um term fix. You're also gonna want iPod customize fix and that's about it. Summerboard should work after you it's pretty easy you just um, make sure you restart your whole iPod touch which is pretty easy to do. What you do is you go to the top and you hold the not the home button but the power button then slide the power off and then sorry about that my phone And then you're going to want to power it back on. It'll take a little bit to power back on and then there we go. And your summer board should work perfectly. Mine did right away. Now something else I'm going to show you about is that touchpad pro. If you want it to work on your computer you're gonna want to go to I'll, I'll give you the thing in my um, description the touch the you're gonna wanna if, if not just go to Google and download tight VNC uh, that's tight VNC again and then see it's right down there and it's gonna come up right there and it's gonna ask on Tight VNC. It's gonna ask. I mean, on Touchpad Pro, it's gonna ask you when you try to add one. It's gonna ask you the address. Now, the address that you want is gonna be right down here. Just scroll over, and right there it is the ID. Just scroll over Tight VNC, and it'll give you the IP address that you're gonna want to put in as the address. Um, thank you. I hope to help you jailbreak your 1.1.4 iPod Touch.